So hey everyone, standing here in the middle of the concrete jungle, uh, otherwise known as downtown Toronto. It's amazing how this place changes year over year. All the construction cranes coming up and everything. I was just out here today uh, for my annual checkup uh, just down the road here um, at Toronto General. I've got a new cardiologist, um, Dr. Mozzarella. I forget exactly what her name is. But it's like Marzelli or mozzarella or something like that. But uh, what's fun is that it was the fastest appointment ever. Um, I used to have to sit in on really, really long appointments back in the day. This one was the fastest appointment I've ever sat in here on Toronto. Um, and she actually, it's fun because she trained um, in Cleveland Clinic at the uh, pedi in pediatric cardiology. Um, the the adult cardiology center here at Toronto General is world renowned for my particular problem, which was a valve problem. And uh, almost 26 years ago, 25 years ago, I had a Ross procedure done at the University of Michigan CS Moss Children's Hospital Ann Arbor uh, by Dr. Bove. And what's fun is that this particular cardiologist here in Toronto trained under Dr. Bove and are, are trained under a doctor in Cleveland Clinic that trained under Dr. Bove. So she knows Dr. Bove very, very well. And one of the reasons that I have been this successful with um, the cardiovascular problem that I have, it's a major problem, it's a very serious problem, but because Dr. Bove was the surgeon that did that surgery, um, that's why I have been this healthy for this long. And I think it also helped that I collapsed at church, which is technically his house. So I think that collapsing at his house, uh, he's just been following me and helping me make some of these decisions. And I actually chose back when I was 32 to have Dr. Bove do my surgery. And here I am standing in Toronto at 55, here in the concrete jungle, and I'm very, very healthy. So it's fun to share that with all of you. I'm gonna go over to the train station now and stand in line, wait for the 5.30 train. They start boarding at five, I'm exhausted. I just wanna go home and go to sleep, actually, uh, to catch up on some of this sleep. But uh, from the concrete jungle, everything's all good and I should be alive for another year. So hopefully, God willing, have a great night. Bye-bye.